In 2021, we're becoming used to seeing funky smartphones with new, innovative designs. Foldables, for example, look awesome and are changing the way we think about smartphone design. But these things can take a lot of time to develop and there's a lot that goes on before the public gets to see the finished product. Part of this process is the prototyping stage, where phone makers will create models, sometimes working ones, to evaluate their efforts and see if they need to make any changes going forward. Some of these models never actually make it past the prototyping stage. Today we're going to have a look at them, so here are some intriguing smartphones that never got released. Essential Phone 2 Essential only released a single phone, the 2017 PH-1. It was a really cool design with titanium and polished ceramic build materials and minimal bezels with a tiny display notch. In fact, it was one of the first display notches ever, beating even Apple to it. On the software side, it was pretty buggy early on, especially in the camera department, but the company showed promise by delivering many software updates to try and improve the device. There were at least two follow-up devices in the pipeline after the original, but of course we never saw them on the market. The first of which was seemingly a second gen PH1 with some tweaks, but mostly similar design language. The second though looked very intriguing, it was a very tall and narrow device with metallic colours and a very strange form factor, it looked a bit like a TV remote if anything. Whether the form factor worked ergonomically or even with software will likely never be known. However, Carl Pay's Nothing Company just bought Essential which includes trademarks and the logo. We don't know if this means that Nothing will be entering the smartphone game and possibly bringing back the Essential name to create a successor to the PH1, but it seems like a possibility. Maybe we will, after all, see a PH2. Google's Project Aura I'm sure you all remember this one. Google's 2013 Project Aura was a simplistic, modular smartphone that seemed to use generic looking modules that you'd swap out on your smartphone to match your needs. This could be a more powerful camera, a bigger battery, or a bigger speaker, something like that. The hugely ambitious project was unfortunately canned by Google in 2016. Reuters reported at the time that it was due to Google's desire to streamline its hardware efforts. Which actually makes a lot of sense, because it would be around this time that Google's Pixel brand would start to develop, which is of course a huge brand today. Modular smartphones did become a thing, but they weren't quite the same, you know? We had LG's G5 with its weird battery compartment modules, and then of course we got Motorola's Moto Mod system. Sure, with that system you could put on a different camera, a bigger battery, and uh, a speaker module, but it wasn't quite the same simplicity that Project Dara kind of promised. HTC Pixel 2 XL For those who don't know, the Pixel 2 and the 2XL were originally made by HTC and LG respectively in 2017, but as it turns out, HTC was actually meant to develop both phones. A video on YouTube surfaced just a couple of weeks ago showing the supposed HTC Pixel 2 XL prototype. It doesn't look that far off what we got, at least from the back. The camera, the visor and the fingerprint scanner all resided where they would on the smaller Pixel 2 anyway. But seeing this thing from the front, yeah, I'm rather glad we didn't actually get this one because those bezels are huge and would not have worked nearly as well as the nice sleek design that we got on the Pixel 2 XL. Microsoft Lumia McLaren you might laugh now, but in 2014, Microsoft's Windows Phone actually looked like a platform that could compete with iOS and Google's Android. There were plenty of great devices, like the Lumia 930 and the 1520. There was, however, an intriguing cancelled device that was meant to be revealed in the second half of 2014, codenamed McLaren. Michael Fisher and Windows Central did a hands-on with a near-final unit back in 2016 that actually did show some promise. The phone featured hover touch functionality which enabled you to preview items on the screen by moving your finger over them. It's kind of like what we got with Apple's 3D touch with the iPhone 6S, only that was a hard press instead of a hover. There was also grip detection like what we saw with the Pixel 2, 3 and 4 devices where you could squeeze to activate Google Assistant, pretty ahead of the curve. Nokia N95 Reboot There's no denying that the Nokia N95 was an iconic mobile phone. It came with a then huge 8GB of storage, a two-way sliding design, and a selfie camera. It was stacked. HMD, the Nokia licensee, did toy with a few slider designs to create a few prototypes of a potential reboot of the legendary device, but ultimately decided against it. Michael Fisher again went hands-on with this one, with a design that had a slightly different sliding mechanism, with a couple of selfie cameras which would allow for the uninterrupted display in a way, kind of like what we got with the Mi Mix 3 eventually. Samsung Project Valley 
Samsung's Project Valley smartphones seem to follow a similar form factor to ZTE's Axon M, which did actually launch back in 2017, with a front main display and a rear display that could be unfolded to create a dual screen layout for added screen real estate and productivity. Images of the prototype were uploaded to Weibo by a Twitter user in 2018, which showed the Project Valley device in the flesh. It didn't look the most ergonomic nor pretty thanks to the chunky profile and large bezels by today's standards. Samsung's recent foldables are a far cry from this beast, though saying that, there are devices like the Microsoft Surface Geo and LG's Velvet case setup that kind of mimic the Project Valley layout. Sony Ericsson Xperia Play 2 in 2011, Sony launched the Xperia Play, which even these days is still regarded as a gaming smartphone that got things right. It had slide out controls with shoulder buttons and a then huge screen to body ratio. We never got a follow up to the Xperia Play, but it turns out there was actually one in development. In September 2020, an XDA member based in Shenzhen posted images showing the Xperia Play 2 prototype. The device seems to be similar in form factor to the original but with a slightly tweaked controller layout and a mysterious 3D button towards the middle of the controller. We'd love to see a remake of the Xperia Play if only to spice up the gaming phone market a little more. Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha This is definitely the most high profile sort of cancelled smartphone on this list, mainly because Xiaomi actually gave it to a couple of YouTubers to make YouTube videos on. Xiaomi revealed the device in 2019 which featured an almost full wraparound display with a strip along the back being reserved for the cameras. It wasn't just extremely pretty, the internals were beastly with a then flagship chipset, 512 gigs of storage, 108 megapixel camera and 40 watt fast charging. The device was an absolute unit. However, like with all the other devices on this list, there was an internal motion to cancel the project. The CEO confirmed in 2020 that it abandoned plans to mass produce the Mi Mix Alpha owing to manufacturing complexities. You don't say. It's probably for the best that we didn't get this device. I mean, ergonomically, it didn't look all that sound. And trying to keep the thing from smashing and getting scratches all over it looks like it would be a complete nightmare. So then, that's our list of fascinating smartphones that never actually made it to the mainstream. I want to thank Hadley Simons for writing the original article. Uh, if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the top of the video description where you can check out the article and read the original. Whilst you're down there, please do hit like and subscribe to never miss a video like this one. And in the comments, let us know if there are any smartphones we missed and which of these smartphones you would actually have liked to use. Because personally, I kind of like that Xperia Play 2 idea. Anyway, I've been Ryan Thomas with Android Authority and I'll catch you later.